direct and indirect speech. Don't play with matches, his mother said. His mother told him not to play with matches. I've forgotten to bring my briefcase with me, he said. He said that he'd forgotten to bring his briefcase with him. Will you be home soon, she asked her son. She asked her son if he would be home soon. Go to bed, a father said to his children. A father told his children to go to bed. I'll clean the den tomorrow, Jim said to his father. Jim told his father that he would clean the den the following day. Where have you been, Tom asked his wife. Tom asked his wife where she had been. I've been working for the same company since 1980, he said to me. He told me that he had been working for the same company since 1980. Do you know Garfield? She asked me. She asked me if I knew Garfield. How shall I tell Pat the bad news, she said. She asked how she should tell Pat the bad news. You must try my homemade wine, he said. He said that I had to try his homemade wine. Can we go home now? They asked her. They asked her if they could go home then. May I call you by your first name, she asked. She asked if he might call me by my first name. He must try harder if he wants to succeed, she said. She said that he had to try harder if he wanted to succeed. My father will be angry with me if he finds out the truth, she said. She said that her father would be angry with her if he found out the truth. You had better speak to the manager, he said to him. He told him that he had better speak to the manager. I may not be able to meet you at the airport as planned, he said to her. He told her that he might not be able to meet her at the airport as planned. On a plane bound for New York, the flight attendant approached a blonde sitting in the first class section and requested that she move to coach since she did not have a first class ticket. The blonde replied, I'm blonde, I'm beautiful, I'm going to New York, and I'm not moving. Not wanting to argue with the customer, the flight attendant asked the co-pilot to speak with her. He went to talk to her and asked her to please move out of the first class section. Again, the blonde replied, I'm blonde, I'm beautiful. I'm going to New York and I'm not moving. Ah, the co-pilot returned to the cockpit and asked the captain what he should do. The captain said, I'm married to a blonde and I know how to handle this. He went to the first class section and whispered in the blonde's ear. She immediately jumped up and ran to the coach section mumbling to herself. Why didn't anyone just say so? Surprised, the flight attendant and the co-pilot asked what he had said to her that finally convinced her to move from her seat. The pilot replied, I told her first class section wasn't going to New York. 